What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix your road craft is having an issue with controller on your gamepad and it is not working or not detecting and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about if you're having the trouble, the first and foremost step that you need to try is all about we need to disable or enable the steam input then you need to restart the game. So just go over here on your steam. Now from here right click, go to the properties, now from here go to uh, updates, now over here go to the general, now you just need to go over here in the controller and right now by default this will be by default settings, change this one to enable the steam input and you have to check, if that is not working change into disable the steam input and you have to check. So most probably both can be done, if you are having the trouble with this we just need to move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to disable steam input and we need to do a restart on your system. So to do this what we need to just go over here right click go to the properties. Now from here what we just go to the controller and change this one to disable the steam input and you have to close this do a restart and you have to check. Most probably that's can help you for many of the users the first and second method did work it. So if that is not working we can just change or move to the next step. Next step is all about end all the Xbox or Xbox ex, Xbox game accessory services that is running in the task manager. So right click over here and go to the task manager. Now from here we need to expand this and check if any Xbox is running or Xbox related services is running. So if you find anything related to the Xbox or uh, it is related or you can just go over here search for Xbox like this. And if you find anything related to Xbox gaming services, you can just remove it or close it and remove it from the task manager. And moving to the third step, sorry, fourth step, we need to update the controller using the PlayStation Accessories app and the Xbox Accessories app. For the PlayStation users, you have to use DS4 over here. You just need to go over here, search for DS4 for Windows. You have to download the DS4 from here. So for the PS4 or PS5 controllers can download this particular app then you need to connect your controller and you need to update it and that's what you have to try. But for the Xbox users you just need to go over here search for the Microsoft Store and you have to get into the Microsoft Store. Now from here what we just you need, you need to search here for Xbox you have to search here for the Xbox app or accessories app can be searched. So just go over here so you can just search here for Xbox accessories over here at the top just click on this particular one and right now from here once you click on this one just get into the Xbox accessories and you have to download and install it and you have to check. So right now I don't have any Xbox uh, console right now in order to show you guys so just click on the down download button over here and you have to update your controller and the users on the PS4 or PS5 use DS4 for the Windows, download it and connect it and update your driver, I mean update your controller, that's what you have to try. Moving to the next one, you have to use the PlayStation Control user DS4 on Windows and also try launch the game in the big picture mode, even it help it. So just go over here and click on the big picture mode, just click on this one. Now from here you have to navigate to the library, so just go over here for the library or you can find the roadcraft, just play the game from here and you have to check, even that work it. Once after the playing is done, just click on the steam, go for you can exit the big picture mode like this, so exit the big picture mode and you have to check. So next one is all about, we need to disconnect all the additional USB adapter connected to the PC, unplug keyboard, disconnect additional joystick or controllers connected. Disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitors, if you have any virtual controller just disconnect everything. Once everything is successfully removed or disconnected, you can check. So that is if, for example, if you wanted to play the game with the controller that is fine, just uncheck everything or unplug everything. Once everything is successfully unplugged, you have to connect it back and you have to check. That's what you have to try. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.